Today we've had a session with our developers, so we've got a range of developers from a variety of different products and we've had a look at the latest Vulcan 11, having a look at the graphics capability and visualisation of block models. Vulcan 11 has a lot of uh, new features, uh, those features include the ability to look at multiple variables simultaneously, so that uh, new capability that wasn't there before, ability to investigate and, and look more closely at samples and sample selection um, through the visualisation of Vulcan. New tools in Vulcan 11 will benefit customers through the uh, ease of use in terms of uh, making uh, their day-to-day -day life simpler and easier. Uh, it'll also, there's functionality in there for speeding up operations. So current operations uh, in some times, multiple estimation can be three to 10 times faster than current. So that means that they can do their work quicker and get their results turned around faster for their manager. The advantage that we've introduced in Vulcan Level with splicing is just the different modes, new modes, new way of interacting with the data, new way of giving people uh, tools to analyse and think about their data so that uh, they've got the better understanding so that when they make decisions they can use those uh, insights to uh, better results for their minds. Now in Vulcan 11 we've got a new ellipsoid display, so previously we showed an ellipsoid but it was just an ellipsoid, but now we show dynamically the samples that are selected inside that ellipsoid. So as you change your ellipsoid parameters on the screen, you can see dynamically updating the samples that are being chosen or not chosen based on those changes in geometry. So another very powerful way of uh, investigating, examining your data and uh, getting a much better understanding of uh, what the impact of your estimation will be. Yeah, with the history of graphics, uh, Vulcan was a very early, uh, very early three-dimensional product. Um, the early days of uh, MapTech, um, the IBM mainframes that we used, uh, MapTech had to write the graphics drivers for those mainframes to get to render anything on the screen. And in those days, uh, there was a uh, a panel of eight dials, and so if you wanted to move the uh, the cursor one way, you used one dial. If you want to move the other way, so you had this panel. So it wasn't like a mouse that we use today. So I guess from the very early days, MapTech and, and the, Vol the Vulcan product has been a leader in, in graphics technology. And as time ha has moved on, and we're talking about four de decades here, uh, we've had to grow with the times uh, as computing power has become more powerful, as graphics processes have become more powerful. Uh, we've moved with the times, used the latest tools, and worked with uh, some of the graphics engine people to, um, to get the best for our, our customers. Vulcan 11, I guess I'm most excited about getting it to customers. It's good to see them, their reactions as they use it and see it in their day-to-day -day work.